Thank you for coming. Good evening and welcome to the monthly comedy hoopla here at the Hoopa Toy. There's kind of an unwritten rule that you shouldn't really sort of slag off other comedians, let alone on stage at a charity gig. <laughs> However, I did a gig a little while ago where the MC, the compound, if you will, and I'll try to be as constructive, as nice about this as possible. He was a massive knob. <laughs> now, I know some of you have heard this story before. Some of you haven't heard this story before. Now, the people who have heard this story before, if you could be polite enough to laugh again, just so you know, it sounds good. But so I'll, re I'll reward you. I'll give you the full director's because there's a lot more to that story that you might not have heard. Um, if you haven't heard this story before, it's good. <laughs> really, no. But yeah, no, I do this gig, and some say it was really, really aggressive. At first, he didn't have any jokes. There was a rule, I don't mind comics not having jokes. As you perhaps find out today, a whole of this evening, I haven't got any jokes out. Um, but there's a reason. I used to have a joke. I used to have a social joke. Now, my social joke was this. How do you sell a bike to a dwarf? Now, some of you here will ask me, so you should know this. This is the bit where you go, I don't know. How do you sell a bike to a dwarf? So, you ready? How, hang on! <laughs> all at once or not at all? <coughs> How do you sell a bike to a dwarf? I do How do you sell a bike to a dwarf? It's so much better than that's what's all right. Hold on, I'll tell you. Goodbye, <laughs> <Not my> bike! <laughs> dwarf! <laughs> Even the people here last week. <laughs> but I was telling that joke to a group of friends once, a group of friends' friends, and there was one girl who didn't laugh. And with a really deadpan straight face, she said, my sister's a dwarf. So, thinking on my feet, I said, does she want to buy a bike? <laughs> <laughs> you can't be too careful when it comes to the bike. Um, so this MC didn't have any jokes. He didn't even have any jokes about not having jokes. That's not how good he not was. Um, something in there. But also, he was really rude and aggressive. And an MC show was to make you feel warm and welcome. And we do want this night to be friendly and sort of like raise lots of money for charity. And you guys can enjoy yourself. You have to do it in a nice, warm, friendly atmosphere. A little bit of banter might happen, you know, I might shout abuse at some of you over there. <laughs> but he got the banter really wrong. And I was just about to come on stage. He was there. There was a girl on the front row. And this girl was doing a smile. A nice, warm, friendly smile. And she was being polite because he was shit. But she smiled nonetheless. And I don't joke. This MC then went like this. Oh! Oh God, sorry, wasn't expecting that. You've got a really big, scary smile. <laughs> Has anyone ever told me, you've got a really scary smile. You scared me with that smile. Whatever you do, never smile like that again. <laughs> How unhappy do you have to be as a human being to have a go at someone for doing a smile. <laughs> the smile is the very least we're required as, as a standard. But if you want to smile for the whole night, you just fucking smile and enjoy yourself. There's a list, it's backstage, you might see it. There's a list of things the stand up comedian wants, and it goes like this a smile, a nod and a breath, a titter. A tr so, what I mean by nod and a breath? Yeah. It's one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get technical, but a double nod and a breath. <laughs> <laughs> It's up to a chuckle. List of things that you have to Smile, nod and breath, a titter, a chuckle, a laugh, a belly laugh, a heart pound, tear on, gut rotting belly laugh, a paid gig. That's, that's what we want. To raise lots of money for charity.